everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Rachel Ray here and today we're going to open another Diamond Art Club. I'm just gonna take this out of the box real quick so you don't have to see me struggle. Here it is, my beloved, beloved painting. There's a little backstory on this. This diamond painting, I'll tell you all about it. I'll show you what it is as well. I have wanted this since it first came out. It was the biggest diamond painting I had ever wanted. And boy, is it heavy. It is The Enchanted Forest by Andreas Roca. This particular artist is incredible. I will try to link him down below as well so you can check out his website. He does kind of like game backgrounds and stills and things like that. He's very, very talented. This is a 165 by 55. I don't think I can even get it in a wide angle frame. So this is heavy, heavy. Um, I, I am speechless. So this diamond painting, uh, it first appeared, I want to say late last year on a website. I might be wrong but it was a while ago and it went out of stock pretty quickly. Um, and all summer, I remember talking to Diamond Art Club whenever we'd have an interaction with something or they'd ask me a question. I remember asking them almost every time, each month, is, this, is the Enchanted Forest coming back into stock? When is it coming back into stock? I need it in my life. Well, it's back, and it's going to be awesome. Ooh, and it's the new packaging. The drills are stuck. Okay, there's the... So I'll just put that to the side. This is a square kit. There are no ABs that I know of, but I might put some in. Um, it, the toolkit comes with tweezers as well as the pen, the wax, the squishy, the baggies, and the clear tray. Really nice. Not gonna open it. Don't need to. It. Oh no! My sticker. Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It got caught on my baggies. Holy cow! That is all three ten and three three seventy one. <laughs> oh no! I think that's three ten, or it might be a gray. All right, so here is the painting. Gorgeous. Isn't it like Lord of the Rings? Any kind of, you know, RPG gamer fan would probably love this. So if you have a gamer in your family or maybe a significant other, this one would definitely be the one to go for, I think. Gorgeous. I love this picture. It's so mossy and green, you know? So I'll put the drills there. I have a feeling that this painting is gonna be great for people who like color blocking. So if you're a fan of the multi-placer, uh, I'm guessing this is gonna be the one. Cause I think, let me see, what did it say on the box? Square, okay, it doesn't say yet. Hold on, we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's, let's get in there. Oh, sure, it says it down here. 28 colors. So that's not a lot, which means there's a lot of footage on this and not too many colors. So it should be relatively fast to do. Here's their instruction booklet. If you're buying it for someone who's never diamond painting before, at least they'll know what they're doing. Thank you. And are you ready? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. All right. Oh yeah, the color blocking is real. And there is 310 in this. <sighs> okay. I think it's so big that I can't roll it out. Wow. My gosh, you guys, it's huge. It's huge. Oh my word, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I thought they were only bringing back the standard sizes, but this 
is unreal. I'm gonna have to like turn the camera around. I think this is as t this is almost as tall as I am. I'm 172 centimeters tall. I think <laughs> I was when I was in Korea. Hold on. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> Okay, so I might have put myself into a 310 pickle again, but that's okay. You know how I feel about 310s. How many 310s are in this painting? Diamond Art Club. <laughs> I'm gonna send them a message and see if I can put it in the video because I think it's more than Nightbringer. If you don't know Nightbringer, I'll, uh, I'll put it up in the cards. That was a fantastic diamond painting though, but look at the detail, like it, it looks incredible. <sighs> I'm gonna have to make another order with uh, Tina, Tima. Look at, the, look at the detail in the tree. Fabulous, I love that. And these are all like grays in the back. It's quite three dimensional. I really, really enjoy this. Wow, that is awesome. What? It's so big. <laughs> it's actually so big. All right, I'm going to just keep saying that um, the whole time. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave it kind of half rolled up there and just leave these little people. Uh, kind of looks like two kids and an adult or two hobbits or two people and a giant. I don't know. It's all up into to interpretation, you know? Uh, let's dig in to the colors. Oh wait, what am I doing? Hold on. Let me, let me show you the symbols and all that. I don't know where my head is today. It's because it's late. It's getting later. I've been doing this for a little while today. And see the, the symbols are clear get the more colorful area for you. Sorry about the ring light. It's nice. It's really nice. Very easy to read. Super glittery canvas, poured glue, and their glue, let's see the, still as sticky as ever. There is a lot of overhang on the on the film. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but the canvas is still the same as before, soft and everything. Um, okay, now we can get in the drill. Okay, I'm looking very carefully at how they packaged this so that I can attempt to put them back that way. <laughs> um, I think this whole strand is 3371, which is a dark brown. This one, same, 3371. Oh, and then there's 938, which is a lighter brown. 3799, which is that gray color in the background. And then 934, which is like a dark olive color green. And I'm gonna leave it like this and not do my normal thing because this one is the bulky one. Getting it back in the bag is gonna take me a second, so I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, lucky for me, that didn't take too long. It's not as condensed as they had it, but that's the best I can do. I like to store the drills with the painting. Whoops, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. But for this painting, I'm gonna make an exception. I'm not going to be putting the drills with the painting because it's just, it's a lot of drills. This is the biggest canvas I think we have. Um, I think it might even be bigger than Stinky Cat. Editing, Rachel? Is it? Okay, so these are all 310. We have 30, oh, sorry, you can't even see. 3787. These are kind of like, kind of greenish brown. Seven thirty-two. Another olive type. 
333, 833, 833, and 3021. And then the colors! <laughs> 939, 470, 937, which look very, very similar. That's just one shade darker. 645. 733, 640, 838, 166. Interesting. 839, 841. Ooh, look how neon that looks. That's cool. That must be for the really bright areas. And then these little ones. Excellent. Well, it's a very earth toned painting. I knew that going into it, but I think it's going to look fab. Um, it's very, I don't know, it kind of evokes Ireland to me as well. I'm going to turn this back off. So I really, I really enjoy paintings that can connect me and what I'm doing to Ireland as well. It's, you know, it's nice. It's nice to, to pay homage to the place that you live. But it is massive. It's, I mean, 55 centimeters in, in height, but it's 155 long. So this will be a long project, but if you look closely at it, there's a lot of areas of color blocking. So using the wheel tool or using a multi-placer would be a definite on this canvas just to help push the project along because otherwise I think it would just take a, probably, probably a really long time. Can you imagine cross-stitching this? I bet you could. Anyway, I'm going on. If you would like to get this painting, I will have it linked down below in the description box of the video. So check that out. I also have a referral code if you would like to save a little bit of money. Um, and that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.